Yep, this is anime of the year. I can already see the video. <clears throat> Title is greatest anime of all time, and this is the thumbnail. I have got another masterpiece coming in. This fucking sucks. You guys remember Nietzsche Joe? You guys remember how good it was? From the humor to the production. I, I really thought this was the second coming of Nietzsche Joe. Here's another question. What does it mean to be funny? I guess the gist of it is that humor is subjective. However, even as one of the least funny genres of people, anime YouTubers, I'm telling you right now that this show transcends subjectivity to be not funny. And the thing about comedy anime, not like an actual show that is funny sometimes, I mean comedy anime, is that its quality hinges on how funny it is. So if a comedy anime isn't funny, then what's the fucking point of its existence? There's no serious main plot to follow instead or anything. It really does pain me to say this, but Nokotan is Reddit humour. It feels like a fucking anime memes user made this, from the overdone references and the low effort fourth war breaks, to the uninspired band kid gag humour. I feel like Nux Taki would belly laugh to this shit while making some stupid fucking remark about Rule 34. Huh? Dude, I cannot wait until the Rule 34 artist- I know that I'm really drilling this into your skull, but the random equals funny jokes really fall flat in nearly every instance. A lot of it feels like it's just trying to shock you by how silly it is. There often just isn't a punchline, and when there is, you can see it coming a mile away, because for some reason, anime are obnoxious enough to, like, foreshadow their jokes. For example, even though it is obvious that this deer is not Nokotan, this bit where Kotitan is trying to expose the deer as Nokotan goes on for six minutes. I counted. And sometimes, Nokotan will just straight up explain the joke to you. In episode one, when Nokotan breaks through the door and flings rubble onto a bunch of people, the main character is like, Whoa, how come nobody is reacting to this? But a bit later, when the deer girl reveals that the main character is actually a delinquent, everybody turns around in shock and awe. And once again, the main character is like, Whoa, how come they didn't react to the deer transfer students, but they did to this? Additionally, this show does not need a narrator. He does a lot of this for no reason. Episode 4 came out as I edit this. Here's some more examples. Okay, okay, oh, oh, thank you, narrator. Thank you. <laughs> what is the fucking point of this? Oh, and you know that anime trope that everybody loves where one sibling is in love with the other? Nokotan brings the sister con character out in episode 2. I was with a friend when I watched this episode, and even with that friend, the show didn't get me to crack a smile. Including that same episode, a lot of the jokes are just weird. I really don't want to hear about Koshitan's virginity, or whether she's wearing a bra right now, or how many people she's dated. I'm not trying to paint Nichijo as this flawless masterpiece where every joke lands, although it's pretty close, but at least it doesn't pull a Peter explains the joke to you, and the weird random abstract humour is often far more funny, because 1. Not only is there bits of relatability within the jokes, but they juxtapose really well with the abstract wacky shit in the production, to be funny. Now. Two, there is often an actual punchline to the jokes. Even if it's not obvious at first, there is usually a kind of smart joke amongst the brain rot, even if it's untranslatable sometimes. This is all just a way for me to sound smart when I say Nietzsche's jokes are just better. Three, the weird ass wacky nature of the jokes often lead to really entertaining and out there scenarios, even though this is still just a high school anime. Four, if you don't really like a scene, it's not gonna last that long. Nietzsche show is really quite fast paced. You're gonna be having like four or five mini plots an episode. Five, even if you are just into random, abstract nonsense humor, on the what the fuck scale, with Nietzsche show being a 10 and Lucky Star being a 1, Nokotan is still only like a five. One of the biggest reasons that I think this show is that low on the scale is that from an artistic point of view, Nokotan is kind of lame and boring. I think I slightly chuckled at the render of the deer when it first appeared, but other than that, this show is often just kind of lazy, the production is really mid. It's kind of hard to believe that this came from wit instead of a more slop-oriented studio. What the fuck did I mean by this? 
the 3D is mid, and I can't really even say that the soundtrack is that good. So yeah, that's just another way that Nichijou mops the floor with Nakatana, because if you've seen Nichijou, you would know how much effort was put into the production, and that in itself was often pretty funny. It really does enhance the jokes. Honestly, this is just unfair. Nichijo is just leaps ahead, and it came out 13 years ago. Let's just go over some stuff real quick. First of all, I know that I am sounding like a little bit of a Debbie Downer right now. A negative Nancy, if you will. So I'm genuinely just going to, off the top of my head, list some shows that are funnier than Nokotan. This is off the top of my head as I write this, so don't go, but Snowy, you didn't mention this hilarious anime I like called Plus Sized Elf. And by the way, some of these aren't even primarily comedy. Azu Manga Dayo, Dungeon Meshi, Daily Lives of High School Boys. I haven't watched it, but the Rule 63 of High School Boys is probably also pretty good. Bochi the Rock, Iggy's Death, Fooly Cooly. Kaguya-sama. Asobi Asobase. Honestly, Chainsaw Man. Lucky Star. Some might say that I'm being harsh on Nakotan because there are only three episodes out. And to that I say that if a comedy anime doesn't manage to be funny in one hour, it kind of deserves it. The three episode test only backs me up on this one. But hey, if the show is a masterpiece past episode four, I will make a um, five and a half minute apology. If anything, I am commending the show's marketing. The trailers are actually both pretty funny, and the OP is quite good. You baited me on that one. You had me retweeting videos and liking art. I even put a clip of this show into my Demon Slayer video because I was so convinced this was going to be an amazing show. Probably because stupid girls being stupid usually works pretty well. But the good marketing just makes the actual content of this show feel like a slap in the face. I really liked the part in the trailer where Nakatone came out of the deer mech, but when all these gags actually happen in the show, they feel so much weaker in context. Just go watch Nichijou. And if you've already seen it, re-watch it. <laughs>